Hey everybody, how's it going? Just uh, wanted to touch bases with y'all. I've been off for about, well, I've been off the video for about two days now. Uh, we had a transport out of Maryland, actually Delaware, and we had to bring it over to, uh, we got to bring it over to uh, Oregon. And we just stopped off here at Salt Lake City this morning. Uh, been on the road a couple of days now. Um, we had to get a chassis lube. It was our uh, Jamal's truck is a little overdue on chassis lube, so we stopped at the Salt Lake City terminal and uh, getting that taken care of. Uh, not much going on around here. Uh, Snow-capped mountains, you know, it's nice out right now. I'm in a short sleeve shirt, probably in the 50s here on the bottom of the floor here in the valley. Uh, ain't much going on here. It's kind of like a dead zone around this place. There ain't nobody around. Uh, of course, you know, they're still building the they're building their millennium building here and getting it squared away but it's still a long way from being complete uh, no the facilities here are limited uh, we were able to take showers here this morning other than that there's fresh coffee but no food or anything like that and I guess the only way you get food around here is through uber and then of course you know nobody's running ubers are shut down but maybe uber eats will work but we didn't really checked into that just yet I've uh, been here for a couple of hours now. We're just trying to get this wrapped up. We still got about 784 miles left to travel to get to our 90, but uh, uh, you know we're trying to get that changed because our delivery date's not until Wednesday, so we got like three, three and a half days. But we we could pretty much make it in a full day. We uh, we think. But uh, anyway, just wanted to touch bases to everybody out there, my family and everything. And you know, and I'm doing fine. I'm okay. So far, I ain't cut the crud. Uh, we're keeping ourselves sanitized, our hands washed all the time. Every time we're in and out of the freaking truck, we put hand sanitizer on, and we're trying to stay limited to the amount of people we're in contact with. Uh, thankful to Prime. Prime is taking the precautions as well, but when we pull in, we have to answer about five to six questions, and then we get our temperatures taken. If we have a temperature, we're not allowed in the facility, so they're doing their part. We're doing our part, and we're just keeping our hands clean and keeping out of the way of people. You know, we still have to stop at truck stops, get fuel, so we just avoid people as best we can. And we make sure we clean ourselves afterwards. Um, I got a couple of, got a one new guy. He's just started TNT. I didn't catch his name, and I apologize. Hopefully, he uh, gets on here and subscribes and gives me his name. But uh, we were in there doing our thing in the shower area, and then come out with doing shaving and all that stuff. And I introduced myself and. He said he'd been seeing some of my bills, but he didn't know who it was, so I explained to him who I was. And he said he's going to start watching. He's only a week into TNT, and I wish him best of luck. Got a good trainer, so we'll see where that takes him at. And I guess he got out of Springfield, where he came out of, so we'll see how that works out for him. I'm still on, on hold. Uh, no word or no messages to me what so far. I'm getting a little bit over 4,000 extra miles on TNT. Um, we're dealing with it day-to-day -day basis. We'll see what happens there. Uh, again, I'm supposed to be getting my trainer on this video. He's in there and, uh, and where the truck's at, and I'll be doing another video with him when we get an opportunity. Uh, but I just want to touch braces. You know, this uh, virus that's going on, pandemic or whatever they call it, it's, it's getting bad out there, you know, but we're doing our part delivering produce, doing whatever we're supposed to do, and keeping, uh, you know, short contacts with people. But, uh, you know, we're doing our thing, and that's what we're supposed to be doing out here for the benefit of the American people. And, uh, you know, kudos to our president. He's doing the best he can with what he's got to work with. You know, uh, even our family members are doing it. My wife is taking care of herself, preparing, you know, precautionary measures and stuff. Uh, shout out to my church family as well. Uh, you know, I appreciate the prayers and everything. I'm doing doing what I think is best to do for right now. And uh, thank you for your prayers and everything thoughts. Also want to shout out to a lot of people out there that are that have family members that are suffering from this disease or this virus. And you know, my heart, my thoughts and prayers are also with you as well. Uh, all my trucker friends, I want you all to be good to go. You know, take care of yourselves out there. Be safe. Wash your hands every time you turn around. You know, take care of yourselves and, and you know, be safe out there on the roads. Um, also, uh, you know, we keep doing what we're supposed to do, and that's our job. So 
you know, that's the way it goes. But other than that, that's just to touch base on something there to tell you what's going on with me. Uh, hopefully we'll be leaving Salt Lake and headed towards Oregon here pretty soon and see what's going on there. Maybe have a little weather to face, but we'll deal with it the best we can. Uh, anyway, best of luck to everybody. Uh, be safe. Uh, we'll always remember we keep striving and striving for perfection. And I'll talk to you guys soon, all right? I'm out. Talk to you later. Bye.